Hi, there's some people who uh, wanted to see a tour of the old lab before I start uh, like moving it, packing, organizing, moving it into the new lab, which I just did a video about. So here we go. It's not going to be pretty. Trust me, this is not organized. It's actually kind of sort of still in the middle of a previous like a reorg, which I was going to do. So there's a lot of stuff on the floor and everything. Nothing. Let's go have a look. This is a tour of the EEV blog lab. Here we go. Here it is. EEV blog. We're going in. This is not going to be pretty. All right. Here we go. For those who don't know, this is uh, 50 square meters or thereabouts. I don't know what that is for you uh, Yanks uh, in square feet, but this is it, sorry, this is the widest angle uh, using the uh, internal lens. It's the widest angle lens I've got. Anyway, let's have a tour of this place. You can see it is a mess. I've posted many uh, photos of it before and yeah, it's as messy as it looks. It has like gotten messier than this at some points. Um, and I've done like reorgs and cleanups and uh, stuff like that before. And that's been very nice to like clear all the benches and stuff like that. Like see if you can actually see bench space there. Like you, you just can't, right? I've got like seven, I think it's seven benches in here and <laughs> there's basically no bench space. Anyway, let's have a look here. Like I've just got stuff dumped here. Don't ask anyway. Um, and what else we got? Like, I'm in the middle of like, you know, like this stuff, like this Intel, um, spoiler alert, Intel MCS80, um, 80, bleh, MCS85 system design kit from the 70s. I want to actually build that. Um, these are actually quite valuable. So I, <laughs> I do actually want to, uh, yes, don't keep it mint in box, actually seal it. And I've got lots of stuff just dumped here in the corner because I like I couldn't be bothered. There's an extra whiteboard there I've used uh, occasionally. I've got another rack. You remember the uh, old uh, uh, resistor grid video? There it is. Still got it. Anyway, some potential like uh, repairs and stuff up the top. Just got other miscellaneous crap not sorted on some benches here. I've got other stuff like just dumped. Um, <laughs> this is actually where I did have my bench at uh, one stage, I actually did have my, oh my sorry, my, my, my desk, my editing desk. I did actually have it here at one stage. And then uh, when I originally um, hired David too as like an intern, um, then he was uh, sitting there and I had my original bench from, uh, which I took out, which was over my car bonnet. I'll have to link in the video for that if you haven't seen it back in my original home. Uh, lab garage lab um, that's anyway that was pretty much bodged together and we used to have like partitions here as well when we were trying to sort of like fit both of us plus stock and everything else in the 50 square meter lab but yeah it's a mess um, anyway uh, yeah so I've got all sorts of stuff dumped there let's have a look um, I've got uh, the arcade machine over here there's Sagan. I got just got a bunch of uh, just a random crap. There's some video uh, stuff and things like that. I got more miscellaneous uh, whiteboards down there if I need them. Some of my old original component cabinets. So I got my big uh, component carousel here, but once again, that isn't like fully um, sorted. Like I still need it's double sided. Um, I got that, found that in the dumpster room, and then um, not with the cabinets, but I got some cabinets in there anyway. You can see that, you know, all sorts of stuff is just dumped on the floor. And let's have a look. I'll show you the main benches later, but <laughs> once again, all sorts of stuff dumped here. There's the new camera, which I haven't finished uh, setting up yet. There's a vacuum cleaner I need to repair <laughs> because I need a vacuum cleaner in here. And yeah, where do my, where do my instruments go at the moment? Uh, when I'm, you know, in between shots using them, they just get dumped on the, <laughs> dumped on the floor. This is why I can't damn well find anything. It's just ridiculous. Um, yeah. Anyway, stuff just tends to get buried. I've got a portable trolley there and you can see that, uh, this is the main mailbag. So, you know, hi, welcome to everyone's favorite segment mailbag. This is about where I put my camera there. I don't normally have those uh, studio lights there. I don't use my studio lights very often. You can see like I've got one over there. I've got another one down at the bunker. And you can see that I don't really have 
studio lights are pretty annoying. So when you're limited with room like this, it's really hard to have like just extra large studio lights like these ones. But I might buy some uh, new ones for the new lab because I'll have more room and I can just move them around and just get generally more light. Because at the moment I've got, you know, my remote control uh, lights up there, which generally just light up the main bench here which I'll show you in a minute. And they also are okay for the mailbag over there. My new cameras are much better in the low light in that respect. But anyway, yeah, I've just got some uh, <laughs> potential, like you remember the old LaCroix scope? I don't know why that's out at the moment. I think I was gonna do something with it. Anyway, there's some mailbags. Like typically when I shoot the mailbags, I like, cause I don't have any spare bench space to put them. So I actually put them on the floor. So there's some mailbags that you haven't actually seen yet. There's a couple more over here, which you haven't uh, seen yet. So I generally just like leave them on the floor cause I haven't shot like the, I've shot the unboxing, but I haven't shot the rest of it. Anyway, um, <laughs> like nothing is sorted on these, uh, in these racks at all. Like I need to, like when I'm moving in a new lab, I need to be uh, really, um, you know, methodical and actually like, here's all my instruments, you know, they'll all be on the racks. I'm going to keep all these same racks. I'm going to keep all the same benches. I'm just going to move it over. So hopefully the look and feel, um, will be the same like this layout here with this bench and the uh, background here will hopefully be identical in the new lab as will the main bench, like right along here like this. I'm going to keep the same benches, the same uh, shelving solution because they aren't tied into the wall. They're freestanding benches. I've done videos when I originally built those. You can't buy them anymore. They used to be from I Ikea. A lot of people ask where I got those from there. I can't remember the brand, like the um, Ikea name for them. But anyway, they were, uh, yeah, I Ikea jobs. So they're freestanding. They're not tied into the wall. So I'll dismantle all these benches. I built these benches uh, in situ here in the lab. I like uh, manufactured them at home and I uh, like just assembled them here. So I'll just disassemble, they all unscrew and so does the shelving. So I'll unscrew all that. So I've, I've got in the new lab, I've got one big uh, like wall like this one. So I'll keep the same big wall like that. And I have my big three, two point, I think they're 2.4 meters each. So three of 2.4 meters. Um, I've got another one of 2.4 meters here for the mail bag. Uh, and so I'll keep pretty much most of this, but it's all pretty unsorted. So most of my work moving this lab is just going to be sorting stuff and character, like, you know, actually characterizing things, putting them in the proper tubs. Like I've got, you know, plenty of tubs there. I've got tubs here. I've got some new tubs over here, which I'm going to put stuff in, but I, I did those before I even uh, uh, signed the lease to move. So I need like more tubs and boxes. So I'm going to categorize everything. But you can see that, you know, the, <laughs> the bench, the main lab bench is pretty messy. Like, yeah, there's, you know, I, I'm not good enough in uh, like just being able to keep things. And you might think, hey, yeah, the new lab is just going to end up looking like this in a week or two. And it may, but there is incentive for me not to because it's a rented place and I've got to keep it looking presentable and stuff like that. And I want to you know, I was going to reorganize this lab anyway. So it's like I'm just using this as a, an excuse now to do that. Anyway, lots of instruments, lots of scopes. I am always spend half my time seriously just looking for stuff. Like, you know, because <laughs> I'm always moving stuff everywhere for different shots, different projects um, and stuff like that. And this is where I shoot my main tear down. There's my main tripod. And every time I want to shoot a video, I've just got to get in here with my arm. Sorry, I don't have my other hand and just like part the Red Sea, you know, part the bench like this. So I've got enough room to, to you know, and stuff just piles up. It's really embarrassing. So all this stuff has to be sorted. Um, you know, you can see how much uh, effort's going to be involved in that. Then I've got like projects that are you know, work in progress, like this data IO program, I still, you know, might potentially do more videos on that if I get time, troubleshooting, like I didn't finish the repair, like I, I did a couple of videos on this, um, what is it, this, this HP touch uh, thing and stuff like that, there's my old camera, look, <laughs> don't know why it's sitting in a box there, there's a, you know, I shot like a thousand videos on that, um, that's my Canon HF, not a thousand, but that's my Canon uh, HF G30, that's the one I used for, uh, donkey's years for the majority of my videos. So I don't know, I might use it as a webcam now. 
I don't know, anyone want to buy a used, a slightly used HFG30? Anyway, yeah, there's lots of like, like just um, unused shelf space and, and stuff like that and, you know, various things in progress. Once again, I don't have like a proper dedicated soldering setup because it's hard. I've got like the Mantis split over here with some rework stuff. And then I've got, uh, you know, the soldering uh, bench over here with the Tagano microscope and stuff like that. That just, like I need to organize that better because this, it's sort of like half-assed at the moment because it's it's just really difficult. Just like being able to shoot videos and get, you know, proper framing. This is not what I'd organize a functional lab as. I've got to, you know, it's got to be like half and half half functional, but half um, also, you know, for shooting videos and stuff like that. Anyway, it's totally non-optimized, so I need to fix all that. Of course, the big uh, photocopier I found in the dumpster, which I want to keep, that I did a repair video on that. So yeah, I've got no room in here at the moment, so it's kind of just sitting in the middle of the room. And this is where I uh, sat. This, uh, this used to be my, uh, um, oh yeah, if you haven't seen it, you know, I've got some uh, acoustic um, tiles and stuff. I probably can't like, I can't really drill into, the, I can drill stuff into the new walls in the new leased office, but um, then I've got to just repair it when I move out. So, you know, it's not great. Various t-shirts and stuff. Um, and there's my air purifier, which I was uh, getting some crap out of this room. Uh, normally I just re leave that running 24 seven to get, uh, uh, you know, really fresh filtered air. It's one of those industrial uh, filters, but you know, I got crap lying on the ground everywhere. I've got to step over crap to get in here. I've got a, t a long overdue tear down of a Keithley uh, Meg Ohm bridge, for example. So, you know, like <laughs> just stuff like, um, just w once again, projects in progress. I've got a couple of those mixed signal. Yeah, I got another one here. Have I? Yeah, should have another one here. It's sort of a uh, in progress repair. And, uh, this kind of more workshoppy uh, type area. Once again, like I haven't got like dedicated drill presses or anything like that in here. It's not a mechanical uh, workshop, but I have got these uh, mechanical type benches. We used to actually use them out there, but we decided to put them in here. So these will move over to the new uh, work bench. So this is where I used to uh, shoot, record the amp hour. I used to, this was my office. I edited everything in here and uh, you know, I used to have my big desk in here which I moved to my new office. So that's all changed. Got my original MakerBot up there. There it is, the Thingomatic. You might remember the build video on that. I've just got some books and stuff. There's more stuff at the office. Um, it, as you can see, it's absolute mess. Higgledy piggledy. I've got another one of those uh, big A0 uh, electromagnetic uh, charts and stuff like that. But yeah, there's an old quadcopter up there with the uh, RG pilot and whatnot. Um, yeah, <laughs> haven't used that in years. That was a uh, work in, in progress uh, project, but you can see anyway, it's all a bit of a mess. It's not organized. I've got various, uh, there's probes, the monkey, got various, uh, you know, crap. I've got stuff stored in these uh, filing cabinets and stuff like that. So, yep, it's not terrific. Anyway, my new office has uh, four of these, well, three cubicles. I think slightly smaller than this one um, uh, with, you know, windows and stuff like that. Plus it's got one uh, server uh, room, which I'll use as a server room plus um, storage, like as in like a stock storage and stuff like that. So I just got various stuff. So you can see it is not very well organized at all. It's an absolute mess, but this is what the lab used to work like. And often I'll have just a space to walk, you know, I'll just have like a, I've got to zoom in, like <laughs> weave in and out of the lab, as long as I can get through to my benches to shoot my videos. So you can see how unproductive um, this must be. And I can assure you it is very un unproductive, especially when I don't edit my videos here, I have to uh, either take the SD card with me to the lab or I just upload them via my uh, NAS because um, I've got fairly decent NBN internet here now. But even but when I shoot in 4K, like, you know, transferring 10 giga files um, still takes, you know, like an hour or something or uh, something like that. So often it's quicker just to take the SD card back. But anyway, so the plan is, is to spend, it's going to take me, if, if I said it'd take me two days to 
uh, organize, sort, and pack up the stuff in here. I'm dreaming. Tell him he's dreaming. Um, it's just going to take a lot longer than that, I can assure you. So that's the majority. It's not hard to move. And by the way, for those who have asked, yes, I still have the dumpster room because my new office, uh, my new lab, will be uh, in it's in the same uh, complex. So I still have access to the dumpster room. So I don't have particularly far to move. So actually moving stuff is not the drama. It's uh, just <laughs> really um, uh, just, just packing up, like sorting everything. Because I don't want to move everything over in boxes, just random boxes, and then just have the random boxes sitting in the uh, new lab and then I never get around to sorting them. I want to I want to do it as part of the move. So that's going to be most of the work. So there you go. The new lab, this is 50 square meters. The new lab is going to be uh, roughly double the size of this at 100 square meters. So if you can imagine the extra room, but of course uh, I've got to move my, it's going to have, uh, it's got three offices, one, two, three at the far end. It's got the same big wall like this one. Haven't actually measured it yet. I hope it fits. Hmm. Find out. Um, I don't think it's as deep as this one. So anyway, okay, cabinet might have to move. Um, but then the mailbag, it'll be basically be the same layout. The benches like this will be the same. It'll have more open floor area. And this bench plus the backdrop there with all the racking, that'll actually go in that far corner, just like this uh, layout, but it's further back, obviously, because it's 100 uh, square meters, and there'll be a lot of open area in the front where I can uh, put lots of uh, open benches for work in progress projects and stuff like that. So that's the plan. Anyway, that is a tour of, yes, that is Doc Brown up there. That is a tour of the current shambles that is the EEV blog lab, soon to be no more. Oh, sad. Anyway, catch you next time.